Today, a constitution bench led by Justice Abdul Nazir heard arguments over the interpretation of Section 319 of the Code of Criminal Procedure, specifically if a new accused can be summoned in a case after the judgment has already been delivered. In March 2015, an FIR was registered against 11 persons under the NDPS Act, the Arms Act, and the Information Technology Act. The Sessions Court hearing the case delivered the judgment in October 2017, convicting nine of the accused persons. However, on the same day after the judgment was delivered, the Sessions Court summoned five more persons to stand trial for charges arising out of the same set of facts. These fresh accused challenged the Sessions Court decision at the Punjab and Haryana High Court. Since the High Court dismissed the challenge, the matter was appealed before the Supreme Court. Senior Advocate P.S. Patwalia, arguing for the petitioners, argued that a new accused may only be summoned before the judgment in the case is pronounced. He explained that even if arguments are concluded and the judgment is reserved, the presiding judge may reopen a trial. However, once a judgment convicting or acquitting an accused is passed, the court cannot summon another accused person. Senior advocate and retired Madras High Court Justice Nagamuthu agreed with Mr. Patwalia. He stated that the court cannot be barred from summoning a new accused person unless the judgment in the case has already been pronounced. However, once the newly accused person is summoned, a fresh trial will have to be conducted since the newly accused person was not present when the evidence against them was assessed by the court in the earlier stages of the trial. A fresh trial involves re-examining all the witnesses and the evidence in the case. The difficulty that will arise here is that the previously concluded trial against all other accused persons would have to be conducted once again. The bench will resume hearing arguments tomorrow. Visit us, the Observer's website for more updates on the Supreme Court.